This video will tell you about how to do culotte bifurcation stenting technique in a few simple steps. This video is especially good for fellows in training or just out of training. This is a must watch video for them. First, I should give you a background. There are three types of bifurcation lesions where one should start with planned two stent technique. These are visually or physiologically significant side branch lesion, Number two, significant diameter of the side branch lesion, at least 2.5 millimeter or 2.25 millimeter. Dissection or plaque shift leading to flow compromise after pre dilatation with balloon. Here are the steps of Coulart side branch stenting. First, it's important to understand that if there is a size mismatch between the distal main branch and the side branch you should not use this frequently this type of technique is used for the right pda and rpla branches or the diagonal branches especially the lower ones d2 d3 if they are having a similar size in the side branch as well as in the distal main branch leading into the proximal main branch so again i wire the more difficult side branch which is usually angulated next i bring in the balloons first i inflate the side branch balloon then i deflate this then I perform the kissing balloon inflation with a main branch balloon and a side branch balloon. Should at least have to have four to five millimeter of overhang here. Once this is done, you bring in a stent on the side branch and inflate it. Once this is inflated, the this wire would be outside of this balloon with this stent. You can remove this wire out. So the main branch wire is removed. Once the wire is removed, you bring back the wire and cross it through this stent again into the main branch. After this, you remove the side branch wire. This goes out. Once the wire is removed, you bring the other stent into the main branch. and inflate this balloon to deploy the stent in the main branch. After this stent is deployed, you bring the second wire back through these two layers. So there are two layers of stent here through this and cross into the side branch. Sometimes it's difficult to get this wire back. Then what you can do is on the main branch, you can bring a small balloon and inflate this area even more to call this as POT, which means proximal optimization technique. This will help the wire to get into the lumen rather than going into the subintimal space or outside the stent. Once this wire is in, then you perform the final kissing balloon inflation. For final kissing balloon inflation, please see my other video about the technique to perform final kissing balloon inflation. This will help you in sizing these balloons as well. Once the final kissing balloon inflation is performed, you can always perform imaging of these stents to look at if they are well opposed. Well opposition is a problem with this stent technique. Please make sure that the stents are well opposed. If you want to keep on learning other types of stenting techniques, please click on the next video. Please do not forget to comment below 
and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for further videos. Thank you again for watching this video.